Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 17 Ultimate Team game. We are back on the salary cap grind and look who's running the Wildcat. It's JJ Watt, ball in his hands, swerving the defender. JJ finally brought down a gain of 21 yards. What is Watt doing with the ball in his hands? Well, I know what Todd Gurley's doing. On his first touch, he breaks the tackle and he's heading for a crib call. Gurley's got him in quickly. And yeah, that is going quickly right there. I, JJ Watt the ball in the Wildcat. Like, I'm shook right now. We just got to get back on offense and hopefully get a rhythm right here. And eventually, we'll adjust on the defensive side because it definitely looks like he wants to run the ball with Todd Gurley, especially on stretch runs. We throw it to Hunter Henry right there, breaking a tackle, getting a decent game, but we are faced with a third down on our first drive of the series. Downfield we go to Keenan Allen. Just got to connect these first downs and hopefully dot him up with Drew Brees. We have Drew Brees as our quarterback, and you know we're not looking to run the ball, so we're sticking in that pocket and we're trying to make good reads second down dump down got the first down right there to i believe brett selick running the ball and now with ezekiel elliott as you guys may know you follow my salary cap lineup we wouldn't budget with our lineup with ezekiel elliott though that time he ran commit and stuffed us so third down and four we come out passing breeze what a throw to Tavon austin threading the needle now at the one yard line elliott gets stuffed to end the first quarter second down back to zeke with the ball battling but do we don't win the tackle battle and now it's third down and goal play action got him for the touchdown to the fullback so my man was basically run committing every single time we ran the ball this game was played before the run pass thing was patched so you know it's gonna be tough to run the ball as you see jj Watt back in the wildcat but this time we are ready for it we're not getting fooled again by jj he's just too slow right wildcat's pretty op this year especially at this point in year when i played it but i'm not gonna give that up to jj as eric berry almost had a pick six right there nonetheless a nice stop brings up a fourth down he's going for it at his own 21 yard line and he's got the catch in traffic move the chains next play todd Gurley back to the run needs a block and he's got it Gurley downfield untouched and he's got two already on the day and over 100 yards rushing he is not playing around and we're going to have to stop it he went outside with the pitch right there and like i said stretch runs the pitch is all also an outside run as that's an incomplete pass breezes first of the day i believe second down he's coming out in man coverage we just dump it down that's a first down to keenan allen coming out in five wide just looking to break this defense apart it's allen again allen swerves the defender there he goes go keenan allen the joke move takes it to the eight yard lines we chew up some clock first and goal dump down it's henry stumbling and back to the one yard line we go back to this battle and once again he's Stuffs the middle, gets the stop, and we actually lose a yard. He calls a timeout, third and goal, passing Henry, touchdown over the defender right there. And that was just a great one on one play by Hunter Henry. I just threw up a jump ball to him basically as he returns the kick to the 24 yard line. Back to the pitch with Todd Gurley, looks good, got a first and more. Trying to put his head down, but Glover Quinn forces him out the 45 yard line. Trying to get some points before halftime. It's Gurley breaking the tackle. There goes Gurley again. More Multiple defenders are needed to bring down Todd 161 yards as he calls his second timeout of the half back to the Wildcat with JJ Watt. But this is going nowhere. Actually loses three yards and he calls his final timeout. That's a big play. Second and 13. Got to stay in bounds. Almost got sacked. Had to take a shot for Evans and ends up being incomplete. Now third and 13. Eight seconds left. Pressured incomplete. That does stop the clock. But this is a 52-yard field goal with the new kicking meter in Madden 17 or not because he's running a fake and that's not even going to get a touchdown so it doesn't matter whether it's complete or not i guess he just didn't have confidence that he could make that long of a field goal and then you just didn't get his three points right there that was just bad clock management he tried to mess around with that jj Watt wildcat nonsense and oh you got me on it once but it's not happening again as ezekiel elliott and a half fumbles the ball but it goes out of bounds we catch a break by the lucky bounce and now we'll just take advantage of our opportunity after zeke's uh little miscue right there didn't come and bite us in the ass unfortunately Unfortunately, running game continues to get stuffed. So we're going to have to come back out in five wide and dot him up one more time. Drew Brees is locked in right now. 13 for 14 passing. Fourth. Oh, 
Should have been 14 for 15, but Hunter Henry drops the ball. But here we go. Oh, one trap up the middle with Ezekiel Elliott. Third down and short upcoming, calling a screen pass for Tavon Austin. But unfortunately, we couldn't get blocks right there. And we end up settling for a field goal attempt and a field goal make by Graham Gano. So right now, we're up three points. And that's basically because he didn't get those extra three points before halftime that he probably should have if he didn't mismanage the clock in his field position. Or else the game will be tied as Todd Gurley back to the pitch. A great tackle in the open field by Delvin Brew right there. Second down, back to the run with Gurley. Once again, great tackle in the open field that time. Vaughn Miller, third down, forcing him to pass. And Eric Berry, again, Eric Berry is sitting on that route. It might get picked off if he tries it again. So you guys see we ran committing right there. He was run committing all game. My MO is you're going to do it. I'm going to do it back to you. So you better come out passing this ball and try to get a first down with Kirk Cousins. Try to throw a dot, but it's broken up by Malcolm Butler. Third and 13, passing situation. Cousins throwing and picked off by Mauga. Number 90, the first turnover of the game. And that was definitely the game's biggest play right there because now we get the ball in field goal range to make it a six-point game or potentially get a touchdown right here. Nonetheless, though, third down. Finally, we got ourselves off the field. And now a big third down and eight. Throwing again. Keenan Allen first down this five-wide attack. He has no answer for it. So why not go back to it? Drew Brees. Dots after dots. This man is a uh, must be only a dipping dots, man. That's bad. But he might be a, he might be a dipping dots owner with the way he's throwing these dimes out here. And that's why I have Drew Brees because when we make the open throw, he won't overthrow it or something like that. And a lot of these quarterbacks, especially early on in Mutt, you got like some of these 85 or 82 overall quarterbacks. They won't be as accurate as Eric Berry gets the interception. And I had Kirk Cousins as my quarterback before in salary cap, but I couldn't stand him. He just made too many overthrows, so I switched to Drew Brees, and so far, so good. Second down and eight, little wiggle right there, right there by Tavon Austin, and now a huge third down and one. He has to get off the field, and he actually calls a precarious timeout. Let's just run the whole clock down, then calls it third down, and Ezekiel Elliott is breaking free. This could be the good night wave by Zeke for the touchdown, diving in, and we go up 17 Point. This game was very close. If you guys remember, down three, third down and long, threw the interception to Mauga, capitalized for a touchdown, and now, you know, he's pretty much falling apart right here. And the main thing was we took, once we took away the run and forced him to pass the ball, that's what you got to do. Just get a stop or two on people that want to run the ball, force them to pass, and a lot of times they can't make reads. Like, this guy, his only two completions was in the middle of the field to Evans, and then a pass that should have been picked off is he's just taking deep shots right now, and that's pretty much all he can do. He's got to get downfield and score quickly. He wants to have any chance. He's still trying to run this ball, but it's boxed up at this point. Now, fourth down right here, and Kirk Cousins might not like that one. Eric Berry does, though. That's a user pick right there. He put his hands in the cookie jar. Berry's second pick of the day, and that is going to solidify the victory for us. It was a tight battle right there. We had to deal with JJ Watt Wildcat Madness, but we did get the victory and an extra touchdown by Zeke the Pad. Those stats. So leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed it. Good game to my opponent. He just, you know, struggled to stop our five wide offense for the most part because um, once we stopped his run, he just couldn't stop our pass, and we ended up winning that battle. So yeah, leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. You want to see more Madden 17 gameplays and until then I will catch you guys next time.